Hey guys, my name is Femi or Jeremy and welcome back to another video. If your clover boot order looks like this and you want to clear things up, create custom boot options, remove these lines of code that shows up every time you put into macOS, then this video is for you. Also, this video is just for those guys who want to just make their macOS experience on their hacking touch a little bit smoother. If you want to boot into macOS automatically, smoothly, without you having to get into your clover boot loader with stress, you just boot into your mac os it automatically put into you the os you were last in then follow this video before we get into this video if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and you turn on post notifications to get notified when i post new videos with all that said now let's get into the video okay first we're going to be disabling our verbose mode these basically are those lines that shows up when you're putting into Mac OS from your Clover boot loader. So if you don't want those lines showing every single time you put into Mac OS and you just want to see the Apple sign when you hit um, put into Mac OS, then you should do this. First open up your Clover configurator, then click on mount EFI to mount your EFI. Then put in your password and hit enter. After you've done that, you can open your EFI now and open the Clover folder, then you'll see your config.plist file there. Open it with Clover and another window should open for you. Now go to your boot section here and you may see some arguments over at this side. What we are interested in is this argument here. Select it and hit the minus button to remove it. Once you do that and you save your config.plist file, when you restart your computer, you wouldn't see those lines of code anymore and you will just see your Apple logo. Okay, so now we're going to set our hacking touch to boot from the last OS we were last in. So if you'd like to turn on your computer and let your Clover bootloader boot for you into the OS we were last inside. For instance, if I was in Windows last and I restarted my computer. So if I turn on my computer the next time or if I restart my computer, Clover will automatically boot into Windows for me. And if for the same for Mac OS, if I was in Mac OS, it will boot into Mac OS for me. So I don't have to always press buttons to get into the particular OS I want to get inside. To do this, come over here and click on default boot volume and select last booted volume. For the amount of seconds you want for the countdown, you can change it here or select fast if you don't want it. Leave the other settings as it is or you can adjust your settings to mine if they are different. Now we're moving on to custom boot entries. These are for people who have more than one OS installed on their computers, they have different drives on their system and you want to be able to choose from your Clover bootloader which, um, the OS you want to put inside. So here we're going to create custom boot entry so that you can select whether it is Windows you want to put in or Linux or Mac OS. To do this, click on the plus button here. For volume, we are going to select the disk that has Windows installed on it. Again, we are creating boot entries for the particular OS we have. So mine is Windows and it's this one called No Name Disk Zero. If you don't know where your Windows is installed, you can easily check by opening your terminal and typing disk-util list and hitting enter. On the list, you'll be able to see all the drives that are present on your computer. So look for the one that you installed your Windows or your particular OS and now you can go back and select it. Next, name the title to what you want. I'm naming mine to Windows and on that type, select Windows and for Windows type, select internal. If your disk is internal or external, select internal if your disk is internal or external. Mine is installed in my laptop, so I'll select internal. Once we are done, we can close this and save your config.plist file. One final thing, to get that clean look in your Clover bootloader, if you wanted to hide unwanted volumes and partitions in your Clover bootloader and only have the ones present that you want to use, you can hide it simply by coming over here, still in your GUI tab, and we are going to add the volumes we do not want here. To add a volume, you have to click on the plus button to add a name, but if you don't know the name of the volume, then again, go into your terminal and type and enter disk util list to see all your volumes. I want to hide my pre-boot, my recovery and my fixed volumes here. So go back to Clover and add all of them in. Then come over to scan and make sure your settings are like mine. Now we are through and we can go and see the changes we have made. So save the config.plist file and exit Clover. Then restart your computer. When you're in the Clover bootloader, you will notice that it started counting down to boot into the last OS I was in. And that I have a Windows boot option I can boot into. Other volumes I hid are no longer visible and it looks a lot cleaner. If you want to unhide the volumes, just hit F3 on your keyboard to show them and F3 to hide them again. And if you boot into your Mac OS, you wouldn't have those lines of code loading again and you just have the Apple logo showing until you get into your operating system. 
So that was it guys. If you're having problems putting into your Clover bootloader, you're trying to get in your Clover bootloader to be able to put into all your operating systems, but you can't and your computer keeps booting into Windows or your other operating system. Then make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I post the next video on how to do it. Also make sure you give this video a like if it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.